Wyverns are elephant-sized dragons with a long venomous tail and only one set of legs. They're the most common and well-known of a category known as lesser dragons, which is what happens when you let the true dragons name things. A modern book will tell you that they've lost so much intelligence they've forgotten how to speak draconic, but that didn't stop the white dragons and wyverns are just as smart. Yes, they mainly communicate in booming roars or growls like alligators, but that's always been the case. They are definitely still capable of learning draconic if taught. It's part of why they're such great mounts. Well, prized mounts. They are notoriously violent and impossible to fully tame. You'd need to hatch one from an egg to even try it, and even then, they will try to kill you eventually. Exceptions being cloud giants who keep them like hunting birds. They aren't smart, but they know better than to mess with a cloud giant. Now, modern wyverns won't typically have the 50-foot wingspan of bygone years, but 20 foot is still nothing to scoff at. It's all they need, too, because while they're as strong and bulky as a normal dragon, they primarily deal damage through one of the most potent natural venoms currently known. Instead of a true dragon's elemental breath, they have a whip-like tail with a massive stinger. Its incredible potency makes it highly sought out by adventurers and alchemists alike, especially if they're both like me. Now with valuable eggs and venom, blood used in potions, and apparently delicious meat, you might wonder how wyverns have survived and thrived so long. Especially since they directly compete with manticore, chimera, and other dragons. Well, the answer is raw aggression. They harass prey and competition alike with a 10-foot reach on their tail. The only way to make a wyvern stop attacking is to severely wound it or lead it to an easier target. Food is their main motivator after all, that and territorial aggression. While they can tolerate a few other wyverns if the prey is bountiful, generally they'll attack anything that threatens their food supply, unless they know they can't take it. The good news is that while I did defend their sentience, that doesn't mean they're smart. They're like a midpoint between beasts and dragons. They never leave the air if they can help it, but their reckless rage means they'll follow prey into caves. If they can't fit, they'll just sit there stinging and hissing, making them easy to ambush. Just run by a cow or something, it'll usually take the easier meal. That's it for today's lesson. Let me know if you liked it and hit that button for more courses. Class dismissed.